Hey guys, it's Cy back again from Tech Translating and welcome back to another video. Today I will be introducing another series called the Camera Series. This will be about what makes or breaks a picture, different components of a camera and the technical terms involved. There's a lot planned, so without any further ado, let's get started. So on almost all devices nowadays, there are front facing and or rear facing cameras. Front facing tend to be used for selfies, while the rear facing is for capturing those special moments with your family and friends or much more. But you may have noticed, all devices have different cameras. There's a lot involved here, megapixels, sensors, features and other little components which reduce unwanted things such as grain in a photo. In this video, I will be briefly explaining what these components do for you, but the main focus is HDR, which in my eyes is a pretty important feature. So to understand HDR, what are megapixels? With the advanced technology available today, digital cameras capture images as pixel elements, known as pixels. And these pixels are basically tiny and tower-like in size and shape. The more pixels there are, the higher the image resolution. So a megapixel is equal to 1 million pixels. But hold your horses. If you hear a camera containing 18 megapixels or 25 megapixels or a high number, that doesn't necessarily make it a good camera. As well as having high resolution, you need much more. So up next are sensors. There are a few sensors but the main one we will focus on today is HDR, which simply sharpens and makes your photograph look more realistic. We then have something called autofocus, which determines how quick or how much your camera will be able to focus on. There is much more, but that's the basics of a camera. My future videos in these series will cover what each one is. But well, first of all, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. It's mainly a feature included in smartphones and it's a nifty little feature. Dynamic range signifies the ratio of dark to light in a photograph. In a nutshell, the dynamic range tells you how different the brightest parts of the picture, also known as the highlights, are from the darkest parts of the picture, also known as the shadows. But here is the interesting bit. Instead of taking just one photo, HDR snaps three photos all taken at different levels of exposure to light. So one perhaps quite dark, the second fairly light and the third will perhaps be quite light. Normally you'd then have to go on a special editing software to put all these images together and maybe tweak it a bit. But we are living in the 21st century and the device does it all for you in a matter of seconds. Another thing which the processor does. Some smartphones will save the photo you took with and without HDR in your gallery but majority saw the one with HDR. However, please bear in mind that this will perhaps lead your phone to take 2-3 to three seconds to snap the photo as it is doing quite a lot for you to receive the final product. But there's also something else to be wary of. There's a good and bad side to everything and HDR can give some disastrous results when used in the wrong environment or at the wrong time. As HDR takes three photographs at once, it's a bad idea to photograph a moving object or person. A person could be on the left in the first photo and on the right in the last photo. When the phone processes the images, you'd get a nasty blur and it wouldn't look very nice. It's also something to be careful with when capturing dark or vivid colours. If you've got something you wish to capture where the lighting and timing is all near enough perfect. HDR would just diminish some of the lighting and ruin the image you had in mind. Same goes for vivid colours as some can get washed out, but HDR is not that bad. If you already take a lot of photos and started to incorporate HDR, you'd soon get the hang of the sensor and know when and when not to use it. The good side of HDR adds a lot to a photo. When taking pictures in lots of sunlight, this feature can even out the lighting and eradicate the glare, making the subject or object of your photo appear more. It performs equally as well in low light, brightening up your picture, making it more visible. Overall, HDR really brings out the colours and lighting in your photograph. It's a lifesaver and shaves off majority of the workload when used. It can prove to be annoying and silly at times, but at other times it simply makes people say, wow. There are many apps available which let you tune the lighting and where you want the colours to be more sharp. HDR is included in the camo apps nowadays and I see no reason to download another app for such a small feature. So that concludes this video, feel free to leave a like down below to show your support. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed. 
My name is Visai, and I'll catch you next time. I'm, I'm, I'm